This is your productivity over a lifetime, right? It's a, actually a very interesting sociological um, uh, document. It's a bit like tree rings. You know how you get one of those big giant sequoias uh, and the park ranger says, that ring there was when Columbus discovered America and this was the explosion at Krakatoa and, and all that sort of stuff. Well, you can do that with, with your publication um, index data as well. That was when I was awarded my PhD. I then went on a postdoc and you can see that publications plummeted. I was having a good time in England, drinking lots of brown ale. And, but gradually I built up and up and up again. And then I got the chair in Melbourne. Nothing is more <coughs> designed to ruin your productivity than being given a chair. Um, well, one more thing I'll show you in a minute, but um, I spent, I spent um, uh, two years fighting with the engineering faculty about the teaching of engineering mathematics, so that's why this is all over the place. But gradually, you settle down um, and productivity rises again. Um, there's the other factor that contributes to, um, to a lack of productivity. It's not as, um, it's more transient than uh, you might think at the time, uh, but there it is. Um, there's my chair again, okay. There's a theorem in here somewhere, never get promoted. No? Okay. Um, so again, you know, it takes a bit of time for me to learn the system, but I start to get better and better at it again. Um, what's that big peak there? Three of my graduate students graduated in one year, and at, at CMU they all had to have a publication or they couldn't graduate. Um, so my guys worked really hard in that last year. Uh, and I published 11 papers. I've never done it again, but I've never graduated three PhD students in one year either again. So um, having PhD students um, increases your publication record. Okay? Take home message. Um, <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> <clears throat> so as I say, tree rings have nothing on this. And those of you who've got a long history might like to plot this out and have, have a look at what happened to these key points in your life. What do you learn from that? Well, seriously, what it tells me to tell the administrators, right, is not to take this business um, to heart. 3.5 a year. Where's your 3.5 this year? Huh? I'm sorry, I haven't got 3.5 this year. I promise you next year I'll have 10.7, you know. Um, publications per year means nothing. You've got to look at some sort of um, time series of publications to see any trends or anything. I can't see any trends in that. Um, look at my average and look at, look at the wild fluctuations about it. Right? I would not use that as a KPI, right? That is that if you're trying to understand whether you've had a good year or not, right? Then how many papers you published in that year is not a statistically significant measure of it, right? How many papers you publish over five years is a statistically significant measure, but not year by year, 